South Africans on Freedom Day. My name is Clive Conway and as chair of the Desmond Tutu Foundation UK, I wanted to let you know we're thinking about you and your challenges. Archbishop Desmond Tutu's HIV Foundation in Cape Town is helping fight against COVID-19. We at the Tutu Foundation in the UK send our love and admiration to the Rainbow Nation. Zanzi for show. Now I'm trying to see if we are seeing Jabula. Kubeli is well. Wa wa. Saza funuma ni kuleko. Sai wa i update. Now I'm trying to when a corona una bango kuti. Saza kukuwa corona virus. Una bango kuti. Hala la ramaposa. Hala la pas dendwe tu siabong. My name is Deva Pundisami. Uh, I'm a Durban-born. UK resident. Although I'm many, many miles away, I can't help but feel really strongly for the suffering and the impact that it's having, not just in South Africa, but worldwide. But I'm very delighted to see the way South Africa is addressing the situation. Whether it be business or whether it's the poor or the in the community they're all having to pay a heavy price while this horrible virus is in our midst but this is when leadership of the country really matters and we you're very fortunate in south africa to have the president cyril ramaphosa giving the kind of statementship encouragement the care and i was extremely impressed in the television interviews that he's been given on the BBC and Sky in the UK, who fortunately have given quite a lot of coverage on the situation of South Africa. The President has done a wonderful job encouraging the business community, encouraging the local communities on how they should try and address this situation. And it's good to see that the, 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 his subjects have all been adhering to the policy. Complemented by the President is the wonderful medical guidance that's been given by Dr. Zweli Mkizi, which really is done exceedingly well in trying to appease the concerns that a lot of South Africans have. But you're, you're far away from us, but we have not forgotten you. And we will pray that you will overcome this as you have done over the years on the many adversities that the country has been subjected to as the world knows this is the time for the patriotism and the togetherness that's sweeping the country i hope that will continue and then at the end this virus will be defeated south africa will overcome god bless south africa thank you very much Hello South Africans, you've done very well so far listening to the President and um, adhering to the rules of the lockdown. We know it's hard but I uh, take it from us here in the UK who have experienced it. We've now gone past 20,000 deaths for a country this small. We don't want the same to happen back home. So please, please people, just, 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 just please hang on there. Everything is going to be fine because together we can fight this thing. Uh, let's let the people uh, working in the emergency services do their job. And let's also assist our president to make the decisions. Let's put him in prayer and uh, let's support them and adhere to the rules. Thank you, fellow South Africans. Keep well, keep safe and stay in hope. Bundu. Happy Freedom Day! 26 years of freedom in South Africa. Together we stand, divided we fall. Let's build a bridge.
down the wall. Let us respond to our brother's call. Together we stand, divided we fall. As you know about the coronavirus that's spreading around the world, please be safe and stay at home. Use your gloves, sanitizers and your masks. Wash your hands every 20 minutes and please guys, please use the two meter social distancing. Thank you. From, From the, the Jesuits in, in the UK. UK. Good morning. This is the message of hope for all South Africans. My name is Jabu Butelezi acting chair of the South African Fellowship in the United Kingdom. Hope is a feeling of expectation, a desire for a particular thing to happen. I speak to you as a mother, as a sister and a grandmother. If you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. This is an inspirational quote from Martin Luther King, which is giving us hope as we pray and walk through this pandemic led by our president, Cyril Ramaphosa. Happy, happy Freedom Day, fellow South Africans. Thank you. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. This is an ancient African proverb and I think of all the places now, being in London and dreaming of home in South Africa, that's a place that has gone fast and gone far and how they've responded during this corona time is quite impeccable and I miss home and when I think about it, I think about the vibrant energy there is there. I think about the hope that there is. And I also think about the extreme amount of work and effort that's going into this difficult time. So on Freedom Day, exactly the 25th one since the first one, which was the year after 1994, I think back on Nelson Mandela's words, which are, uh, it always seems impossible until it's done. So this is my word or, or message of hope to all South Africans during this time to keep up hope because if there's any country or any nation that can get through this difficult time of corona and draw from support from deep strengths and strong connections, it's in South Africa and we are united wherever we are in the world and always will be. And I am proudly South African. In 1994, nearly 20 million South Africans stood in long lines to gain us the freedom we now have. They cast their first democratic vote and elected Nelson Mandela as our first democratic president. 26 years later, we look back and have quite a lot that we can be proud of. In 1995, we won the World Rugby World Cup. In 1996, um, Concord opened up for the first time. Um, we have the Square Kilometre Array being hosted in South Africa and, and Australia. And we've won the Rugby World Cup a second time again in 2019, which shows that we are a nation of champions, a nation that perseveres, and a nation that stands together in times of trials as well as tribulations. As we all know, currently the world at large is facing its biggest pandemic yet. And all 59 million South Africans are going to have to come together in a different way to save the lives of all those we love. I wish us all an amazing Freedom Day, but more importantly, for us to meet each other 
greet each other, love each other, and embrace each other on the other side of the rainbow once the storm is over. We are not called the Rainbow Nation because of how pretty it is, but we are called the Rainbow Nation because of what it represents. Unity, diversity, vibrant colors, but also a beautiful mark of what comes after a great storm. Nintanda nonke emakaya, kilifitseta letati lemonadi, ekespire trotum te say, I am proudly South African.